Good afternoon guys. So here is the second model of the five that I'm reviewing this week and we're going for a Pearl Harbor theme and it's the, I believe the fourth release of the new tooled P40, but the very first release with the new tooled uh, canopy. So let's get in now, open it up and have a look. So here she is. Um, I'll take some comparison shots in a minute with the previous release. Uh, but this one is the second uh, Pearl Harbor relief and release, and this is Kenneth M. Taylor's 47th Pursuit Squadron uh, P-40, the 15th Pursuit uh, Group, obviously from the day of infamy on the 7th of December 1941. Um, Ken, uh, the Taylor one is often regarded as the second one compared to the Welch uh, version, which I've got a Forces of Valor version, which I'll get out as well, so we can have a free ship photo. Um, but the big thing with this new release is, of course, the retooled canopy. And there are some slight differences, which I'll go through from the first release as well, in terms of the prop blades, in terms of how the tampo prints are put on, and, of course, the canopy, which is the big, big, well, was the big, big bugbear for all the die-cast uh, officiados when it was first released. So it's, um, for me, uh, on first impressions, the colours are absolutely fantastic. If we can zoom in a little bit and we get a bit of a better picture for you. Uh, the colours are absolutely spot on. Um, it, the only thing, the issues I found um, in particular were the undercarriage. So this aircraft, as uh, the tail wheel pops out there as I take it off, um, I don't think you can see it. It's probably got the most annoying feature on any die cast aircraft I've ever had. And if you look inside the inner door uh, gear doors, there is um, a very, very tiny piece and that tiny piece is an absolute pain to get in there. This particular aircraft, I'm not overly keen on the um, one of the um, undercarriage, has a very, very slight defect and is slightly uh, more wobbly than the other, which is a pain. Um, but, you know, taking that away, it's a really, really good model. And if you have a look, if we move the canopy closer, and apologies for my nails there the canopy is a much cleaner fit. And we'll do the comparison shot in a minute. Um, you've also got a gun sight on the front there. And I think there's a um, there's a lot of noise around whether that's historically accurate and of course a small uh, aerial towards the front as well. The, dip, the other difference as well, I believe, is the uh, propellers. This is an all silver propeller. I believe the Welsh example has a black propeller. But overall, really, really good looking model. Um, like I said, I've had an issue in terms of uh, the undercarriage fit, but that's not been an issue um, all round. It, I've probably just got just a slightly mismolded version, which isn't an issue. I can use a little bit of white glue to get it in there. The other thing as well, which I'm not entirely sure um, was in the first release, is the, I don't know if you can see the, the radiator cowls there underneath. You've got a different part that can slot in there as well, a closed radiator look. I've gone for the open look because I've gone wheels down. But that's inside the box as well. And I don't remember that being in the first one. I might be uh, wrong. But it's a really, really great looking model. Um, it's a shame that it hasn't been released with all three different Pearl Harbor examples. So this time round, very similar to the first time, you've got a Catalina Zero uh, and P40. It's exactly what they did with the anniversary five years prior. And the Catalina hasn't arrived as yet, but it looks really, really nice with the red and white striped tail. I have the Zero, uh, which will be part of the review uh, for this week, which I'll have a look at uh, hopefully in the next day or two. Um, but what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go and get the original Colgi Welch, because we can then compare the canopies on that. Uh, and also I'm going to get the Forces of Valor one, which is a decent attempt as well. So here we go. So all three of them uh, lined up together. As you can tell, the one that does stand out slightly different is the Forces of Valor with a completely different colour to the Colgi ones. But let's talk through some of the differences. So this is the Welsh one. As you can see, it's not got the aerial towards the front or the gun sight. And quite frankly, the, um, I didn't even notice there was a glue smudge underneath my one. You can see the glue smudge underneath the canopy. But if you look at the canopies in comparison, as the undercarriage is falling out on that one as well. So the new one and the old one. So as you can see, the new one is much more flush to the top of the canopy. The old one um, is incredibly, well, how can I put this? Not great. Um, the other difference as well is the stenciling. So you can see the size of the numbers completely different. Uh, the roundels look around about the same. And underneath, this is obviously the 
the Taylor one, which I'm going to put down. And this one underneath as well. Uh, and so I need to put the undercarriage back in. Uh, otherwise it's not going to stand up. Uh, is pretty much similar to be honest with roundels and lettering look exactly the same just for a comparison shot the forces of valor and this is the old model one you can see much more chunk a bigger roundel and much more chunkier writing different uh type of stencil uh, and of course the number on the side is just a standard 160 compared to the almost sort of staggered 160 as well but they all, all look pretty decent together um, I think that the, the big difference on the um, the canopy is a massive, massive factor. It's just a shame it's taken the fourth relief in order to get to that standard. But now overall, a very, very good and a positive move forward on the P40 mould. There's been a lot of noise in terms of the, uh, the pit on the wing now, whether that's the right example for this particular aircraft. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not an historian, I'm not a P40 aficionado, so I can't say for certain. But um, I'm really, really happy with it. It really adds to the theme. I think they look fantastic, parked up together on my P40 shelf. Uh, and uh, hopefully we get to see some very more exciting um, ones released, which, you know, next next time it has to be a Pacific bird. Uh, they've done Desert, they've done uh, Flying Tigers, and they've done Two Pearl Harbor. So hopefully an early Pacific aircraft, maybe something out of the Philippines or something like that will be good. I don't know if there's any based at Midway that there was because it's more of a carrier station, but something very early um, World War II for the Americans that would be a really, really good release. Right, thanks for watching, guys, uh, and hopefully tune in soon uh, for the next review. Cheers, take care. <laughs>